Hello everybody, my name is Katrinka, I'm a professional singer and a vocal coach and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to something very special because um, not a lot of people know about me that I used to be in... I used to be a scene kid. I, I did love scene, I did love a lot of scene bands and I used to dress up scene. If I'm going to be able to pull up any of my photos when I was seen, I'm going to pull it up. If not, you're never going to see it. But it would probably haunt me till the rest of my days, so I'm not going to do that. But I can tell you, I loved them. And um, it was a whole chunk of my life that I truly adored all of the scene bands and I've been so much into that. And today we are going to be reacting to Falling in the Reverse, The Drug and Me is Reimagined and uh, I know that even though I don't know this song and I've never heard it before, I know that Falling in a Reverse kind of fall under the scene. I know they were dressing like that, they had the, the hairstyles, you know exactly what I mean. And um, I am so freaking ready to kind of revisit um, my scene times and just to hear some scene music after such a freaking long time and, and just I'm ready. My if you are interested in everything music and singing related, do not forget to subscribe because this is the right place for you. So if you want more of my personal or music content or literally one photo in, in, in the once in a blue moon that I really squeeze out of me to put on the Instagram because I have to keep up with you guys there too. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me there. So let's get into this and without any further hesitation. Falling in Reverse at the Dragon Me is reimagined. I hope this is gonna be everything I want it to be, and I want I, I know what I want it to be. I know exactly what I want it to be. Damn. Oh yes. I heard a knock upon my door the other day. I opened it to find that staring in my face. The feel of mortal stalking still reverberates Everywhere I go I drag this coffin Just in case Oh, this is beautiful though Beautiful I love the little restriction in his voice My body's trembling and shivers down my spine Adrenaline kicks and shifts and over your secrets keep you sick, your lies keep you alive Snake eyes every single time you roll with crooked eyes I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down The kind of dark that haunts a hundred year old house I wrestled Jesus with Christ. my thoughts, I shook the hand of doubt Running from my past, I'm praying for beautiful it's really captivating like i completely forgot it i have to stop it react to it um this is very captivating it's beautiful it is exactly what i expected from it it's it's super heartbroken heart-wrenching and it's just ah uh, extremely expressional i love it about that I love that um, he's having a little restriction in his voice. You can you can hear it from the very beginning when he sounds. I heard it. I heard it. It's just a very tiny one, but it's adding a little bit of a weight on top of that, and uh, it's kind of making the contrast between his switches because he's quite frequently switching between his chest voice and the head voice, which is super airy. And it's just creating this beautiful effect. I really love when singers use this effect, but not everyone can use it to look this good. And also, it has to be super personal song for him because this is or super personal lyrics because it's very obvious how emotional it is for him. It's really like literally you can feel it in his voice, the whole emotion of that. And the lyrics are just, yeah, like... They send shivers down your spine, literally. Adrenaline kicks and shifts and overdrive. Your secrets 
How soft this part is in comparing to getting flashbacks from like crying to every song like this ever when I was like 16. God damn. I'm genuinely getting flashbacks. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> it's really beautiful how um how he is literally a master of diffusion in 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 this in the like the middle parts, the beginning and it's just Oh, the tension he is able to put in his voice to kind of embody that kind of heart-wrenching emotion. And uh, then uh, the diffusion parts that he diffuses into his head voice. And then this whole part that was just sang so airy and light. That was beautiful. I love bridges like that. I love that um, the kind of darkness of the music with the, with the strings kind of disappearing and it diffused into just accompaniment with the piano. Wonderful. Seriously beautiful. I love that she and he are literally styled, styled in that style incredibly. Um, yeah, I'm having such flashbacks. It's just, wow. Also, that song is beautiful. This is literally going to go to my cry list 100% because I'm going to cry like a baby in a minute. Give me a minute. Seriously, just a minute. I'm good with that. Oh, God. Ooh. I don't want to talk too much to that, but oh, that's beautiful. I've got these questions always running through my head. So many things that I would like to understand. If we are born to die and we all die to live, then what's the point of living life if it just contradicts? I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down. The kind of darkness. very very fast because it's really hard to interrupt him actually um i love that before this this part was sang super airy and super light and now he's just going full in the freaking oh god the distortion that he's adding on on some parts is it's not that kind of distortion of like oh i'm just gonna add it to make the like song sounds more tough and like more aggressive this is just heartbreaking like this is just freaking heartbreaking i am gonna cry again like a baby i hate this but this is just oh my god trying to Oh, 
for his fantastic pianist too. It's almost operatic. I literally had to take a good, well, good five minutes off to even be able to continue with like this whole video. <laughs> All right, see it again. I did not expect it. I was just so deep in the whole vibe of the song, and it was just really heartbreaking and everything. But then, like the whole emotion, the everything that happened there, like kind of slap you. It's kind of like I felt almost like attacked. It was overwhelming. It was incredibly overwhelming. I probably probably because when uh, you have the most emotional age, <laughs> you know, and you are figuring the most stuff out and you are dealing with the, uh, the kind of heaviest stuff. Um, maybe because I used to listen to the kind of music at that time, this kind of it was such a trigger. It was like the moment it kind of changed, it, it got that trigger. And I do believe that probably a lot of people do love that part of the song because it's triggering. It, it is like a switch. And if you do have some kind of uh, emotions tied to that, that switch can be super powerful and, and can literally like, it, it caught me off guard. It literally caught me off guard and I wouldn't react like that, but it caught me off guard and um, I am a super emotional person. I don't know how to control my emotions fully sometimes, especially with music and art and especially with the music. It's just really, really hard to just switch and be like, yeah, completely non-emotional, very analytical. And um, yeah, this did it. This, what this performance did, I a performance haven't done to me for a very long time. Sarah Geronimo was pretty close. We did a reaction to her that was super emotional, but this one was like the performance, the way he performed this song, uh, the way he chose and picked his, uh, the, the way he sang it. Also huge kudos for people who processed his voice for this video. They did not cut out the things that a lot of producers would cut. Uh, or in mastering would normally be cut like a breathes, breathings. Uh, you can hear him breathing. You can hear a little like, you can hear his, hear his kind of natural noise in his voice, like breathings and um, all of the distortion. They kept it super natural, but in some parts they also like added tons and tons of reverb, which reverb doesn't change anything. It basically just adds a lot of like ambience to the song and uh it was just so well done i'm so happy that they didn't he hygienically cleaned it up and they kept it super natural and i feel like that's why it just had that punch and that kick i love that he was progressively adding on distortion like you could feel that he's progressively getting not just more and more 
like sad and melancholic, but more and more like upset at people who made him sad. So the mix of emotions is definitely there. It's not one dimensional sad, you know, like one dimensional sad, but you have sad, melancholical uh, sad, aggressive sad, um, pitiful sad. There's just a huge kind of, there's a huge field you can play with that emotion, with sadness. And he definitely included a lot of it and, and a big variation of sadness. Now I really want to go and and like listen to more and more of their songs, but I need you to tell me if you want me to react to them. So I should save them for reactions. And if, which one you want me to react to. So yeah, if you did like the video, don't forget to subscribe right here. And uh, this is the video that YouTube logarithm chose for you, so I trust it. And uh, this is uh, the playlist where I have all my metal reactions. So if you want to continue watching, I hope you're going to have a good time with that. I really appreciate you watching. Stay safe and healthy. I'm going to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>